Hello everyone. Welcome back to Linkle of the Wild. That's right, we are playing Legend of Zelda Linkle of the Wild. If you don't know what Legend of Zelda Linkle of the Wild is, it is what I am referring to this as. It is a run of Breath of the Wild using the Linkle mod. The uh, well, the the Linkle Project mod, the and the Ballad of Linkle mod. They are two separate mods, but they do various odds and ends that are both. They're they're even though they're separate mods, they're kind of necessary to put together in order to get the proper Linkle experience. So it's a little odd that they're separate mods. But what can you do? Also, fire rod. I needed that. Go ahead and drop the ice rod and grab up the fire rod. And we can take these. You know what? Let's go uh and let's go ahead and head on back to Hateno Village actually. Since we have them both available. So I'm pretty sure that that thing is beeping about the shrine that is right over there. So, we will hit that later because there's the, uh, there's the Hinox over there. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Actually, this might be better to try and do it now. Because then I can teleport back to the stable and then back here. So let's go ahead and try to do this now instead, actually. It should be right down here. There it is. I won't have to deal with the Hinox until we come back. Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. The Caso Shrine. Alright, easy amiibo ruined some fourth items. Some amiibos. A minor test of strength. Caso Shrine. This should be easy. <laughs> All things considered, this should be ridiculously easy. Let me go ahead and equip some armor. That was pathetic. Oop. Oh, one moment. Guardian Spear. I don't even know that I'm going to bother picking that up. I really don't have many weapons to discard. Alright, well that was a better idea. That was a good swap, so. I will keep the Guardian Spear be just because A, it's the weakest, B, it has the lowest durability, and so it can be the first to go. Ooh, Ancient Core. Very nice. That gives us four. What was it that we could get with the ancient cores? I know we were missing ancient cores and ancient gears, I think, right? Spirit Orb. Was the ancient core all we were missing for the armor? Is that what it was? I think I needed more ancient cores for the armor. I don't remember at this point. Oh well. Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and head back to Heiteno. We can hit the... Um, we can hit up that kid um, for the quest there. And we can hit up the goddess statue as well. And we should be able to do the kid twice 
because we've got the fire rod and we have the moblin club so those should both be in order after that I'm not sure what he wants because I was last thing last time I did it I was on the moblin club that was the last thing I did so I have gotten all the way through the quest I just don't remember what items I need beyond the moblin club so let's go talk to Spock over here Hey! Hmm? Oh! Isn't that the fire rod? It's so cool, let me see! Go ahead. Behold, a rod that shoots fire! Wow! It's exactly the, the one in the books! Thanks, he's talking to my thanks! Money rubies. That was from my grandpa. He always said, give it to the one who can show you the real deal. So don't worry about it. Alright, next one that I want to see is... Um, what was it? Oh yeah, that one, that one! Have you heard of the Moblin Club? So when my grandpa was young, he looked for it but couldn't find it. So please, find it, please let me see it. Hey! Hmm? Oh! Isn't that the Moblin Club? Nice, nice! Let me see, let me see! Now that you can get a good view of it because of the fence here, but... You know, I'll just clip it through the fence, it's not a big deal. Wow, it's even more amazing than I ever imagined. Wow, I saw one just like that in the book. Thanks for letting me see. Take this as a thank you. Ooh, purple ruby. That was from my grandpa. He always said, give it to the one who can show you the real deal. So don't worry about it. Next one. What should I... Hmm. Um, I got it. Have you heard of the duplex bell? Oh, that's right. So when my grandpa was young, he looked for it, but he couldn't find it. Please, let me see it. Ah, uh, yes. I remember that now. I did get to that. I stopped right after the Yiga, and they're the one that dropped the duplex bows. So, literally, I just had to come back here and do that. But I never did. Because that was episode 36 of my previous run. Heart container! Okay. <sighs> Go and bring peace to Hyrule. It is a little weird that there are no full heart containers in the game. They're all essentially pieces of heart. Because you get all the heart containers from doing the shrines. You know, and you do four shrines to get four spirit orbs, which then gives you the heart container, which is essentially like getting four pieces of heart. So, it's kind of interesting. Alright, back to Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. It's empty, that's empty. So, on to this drink. Take a picture of your controls at any time by pressing the plus button. Right the ooh shrine. Alright. Um one moment. As you say, I have something that's made of metal, I'm not sure what. I see it. I was going to say, I've got Guardian Sword and freaking Guardian Shield going on here, so I didn't know what it was. But I got it. Was the bow I was carrying. Is it weird that climbing up a hill is slippery in the rain? And so you can like slide down like that? I feel that I feel like it's a little odd. All right. So let's see if 
we can draw the power of the lightning at the Hinox. One way to find out, though. Got him. The way that I'm going to try this is... I'm gonna hope that the Hinox has something metal on him. They usually have stuff around their neck. So I'm hoping one of those pieces, one of those things will be metallic. And hopefully we can just kill the Hinox by having a lightning strike him. Um, we'll find out though. Come here, Zoe. Come here, Zelda. Zelda. Zelda, Zelda! Leavers! Seriously, if you haven't seen that, uh, it's a commercial for the original Legend of Zelda game. If you have not seen that commercial, you need to watch it. Because it is amazing, frightening, and questionable all at the same time. It seriously makes me go, what the F? W-T-H, you know? Alright, here we go. Whoa, boy. That lightning is ridiculously close to me. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here and shoot a bunch of ice arrows at them. Why ice arrows? Just because it's the arrows I had out at the time. When I started the fight. He definitely has stuff on him. On his neck here. Why that's not attracting the lightning, I don't have a clue. Right underneath his legs. Seems like the lightning arrow might not do a lot. Or the lightning might not do a lot. Considering my lightning arrow is not doing like anything to him. But whatever. Very confused. He definitely has metal around his neck. By all means, that lightning should have hit him multiple times. That said, this fight just became a lot easier because the lightning has gone away, or the rain rather. Bomb arrows are now a possibility. <clears throat> Didn't get a picture of him while I was still alive. Always forget to do that. Always seem to forget to get a picture of him while he's still alive. Hinox guts, roasted trout, blue shell escargot. Yeah, so soldier's bow, soldier's spear. Both of those are metallic. Moonlight scimitar. All three things were metallic. And he was ridiculously tall. No reason he never got electrocuted even once. Oh well. 
What can do? Go away. I need you. Not even as a backup weapon. In fact, I'm going to come down here and pick up a couple of these weapons now that I think about it. Give that Moonlight Scimitar. Go ahead and drop that. Pick up the Soldier's Spear. If I'm going to use magic, it's going to be either a lightning wand or an ice wand because the ice freezes and the lightning electrocutes. Fire just kind of exists. <clears throat> I think the fire rod shoots like a ball that bounces around. Um, not really helpful. <laughs> it might catch an enemy on fire, but that never really seems to do much more extra damage. Not enough to be worthwhile anyway. So, I'm just going to ignore these guys, and there should be a shrine right up here somewhere, if I remember right. My Sheikah sensor should start going off any moment. I think it's up over that way, but I think that's it right there. They're behind that rock. They just spawned in. It's right up there. Let's take our horse and ride on up if we can. Nope, not gonna happen. And leave my horse right here. And I'll be nice and close to the shrine. Gino Shrine! Whoa! Slow down. A little bit of slow down going on there. <coughs> oh, what's this one, isn't it? On the move! I had a lot of trouble with this one. Yeah, I actually crashed like four times doing this last time. Because I think I had the climbing gear on. That or the Phantom Greaves. One of the two. And as we've seen, those cause crashes. So... I don't know if it's the full Phantom outfit or if it's just the Greaves. But either way... It causes errors and crashes. <clears throat> and that is all that matters. Is that there are crashes and they are caused by one of them. And there would be much. Ugh, I very much not. Like to, ha I very much like to not have crashes. All right, how for this one? This one's not so hard, honestly. Gotta get these to go past first. Stop here. And stasis. Got it. Oh yeah. Many less crashes. <laughs> Many less crashes. I would not believe how many crashes I had just getting to that part last time. Alright. I have to wait. 
have to come back from the beginning. Last time in order to do this shrine, I had to teleport myself around because every time I pulled out Magnesis or Stasis, it would crash. Again, I had the Phantom Greaves on as my pants, so I don't this time. And uh, we can see that they are working stupendously now. are working perfectly fine. So good to know. All right. Sorry. My nose suddenly started becoming like clogged. <coughs> I don't know why. Probably just could have been talking so much. I wish I could fix this button. <laughs> Unstickify the sticky button. <sighs> but that has not been a thing I've been able to do yet. So. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't letting me control at first, but... <sighs> there she is. I was like, Zelda? <laughs> Where did my Zelda go? Goblins are a hardy bunch. <sighs> I do do have this, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Off we go to Gerudo the Zot. So we got a little bit of time left in the episode, so we might be able to get there still today. At least to the stable anyway. But definitely not uh, to Gerudo Town or anything like that yet. So... Ah. Sorry. I'm just having some issues. Just all of a sudden. <laughs> like out of nowhere, just suddenly it's like, whoa! <laughs> Let's go around the boulder that just came rolling out of nowhere. Probably a bow cobbler or something trying to crush me. Come on, I'm what do you want, Bone? Possibly important. I'll check it in between episodes. There's not much time left. As, I wouldn't say it's important as much as it is that it's like, oh, that's something I probably want to look at. So... Well, these mountains aren't loaded. Oh <laughs> like, well, these mountains were not loaded. That was interesting. Hmm. Causing me an issue here, Bocos. Or whatever is moving these things around. Ha! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. <coughs> I just navigate carefully. 
Oh, come on. There's more than enough space there for you. There you go. Alrighty. I'll just keep moving on. The stable somewhere down here. I don't know where. We'll run into it eventually, though. And also we need to hit the uh, Sheikah Tower, which should be right near where we are. I would think. I like that Lincoln just has no issues getting up or down off the horse. No matter what speed the horse is running at. Like, you, do, you aren't required to make a full stop. You can be running at full speed and still manage, you know? It's pretty intense if you think about it. <laughs> Lingle is what we all strive to be, I think. Stable up this way? No, stable's over here. I think it's a shrine that's up that way. Or it's over here. I don't know. There's a shrine somewhere around here for sure. <laughs> My poor friends! Whoa! I don't know why I just flipped off that. Up there maybe? I'm trying to figure out where the signal is coming from for the shrine. <laughs> Gotta be up there somewhere. It's probably up. Also, that is, I think, our. I think that's the Gerudo Highlands Tower, not the Sheikah Tower for the Gerudo Desert. <coughs> Do appear to be going in the right direction. So let's keep going up here. Do you seem to recall the shrine was further up? Yeah, there it is. <coughs> Suddenly, my chest felt dry. Kano Shrine. Is this a simple shrine I can do in like two minutes or am I going to do this in the next episode? Let's find out. Power of electricity. This is not an easy one. It's not too complex, but it's not the easiest. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this next time. So I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have... Feel free to subscribe, check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so that you can get caught up on any, excuse me, of the episodes you might have missed. And I'll see you all next time. See you later.